friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're working on the scallop hem of the adult button A-line skirt. So I'm super excited about this because I love that pattern. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing this one today. I actually already cut out my pattern and I'm using this. It literally was a tablecloth from Walmart. I bought this tablecloth on sale and it's just like such a good weight and it was on sale. So I'm like, score, um, and I'm using it for this skirt. And I honestly love it. All right, so I've already completed my um, little pin tuck at the back and the front, and I closed my placket. You do not need to close it together if you're doing the scallop hem. I kind of was rushing through it and I did close mine together, but you're going to top stitch it because this is gonna get folded under and you, you can do that at the end. So I might end up picking that bottom off. So if you are doing the scallop hem, you don't need to top stitch this. You can move on to the next steps and do everything else in your skirts and just kind of pin it together, pin it closed as you're working on the the other steps so let me go do those other steps and we'll come back for that hem okay so we already put our skirt basically together you would have already done your pocket your back to your front your back yoke all that stuff so now we're gonna go ahead and hem it by turning it up uh, three eighths of an inch for once and then three eighths of an inch again so we do that even when you're doing the scallops as well All right, friends, now that it's hemmed, we get to the fun part. Now, please check it from me, your friend, to give you a friendly reminder, when you put your skirt out to do the scallops, put a face up. So this is the right side, because we're gonna fold it right sides together. This is the wrong side. We're gonna sew the scallops to the wrong side. Ask me how I know. I actually have done scallops before, and for some reason, I was not paying attention, and I was just going along and messed up my skirt by doing the scallops on the wrong side because I wasn't paying attention. So we're folding right sides together. And what we're going to do is you can, you have your pattern piece, your pattern piece has uh, markings, but you also um, have to account for your seam allowance. So make sure you subtract that. But what you can do as well, what I like to do is I grab my pattern piece and I place it over my pattern right at the, this, the straight piece is right at the hem area. And then make sure that my scallops are fitting really nicely in here and that you have a seam allowance at the bottom of the skirt. You don't wanna cut that scallop so close to the edge of the skirt that you don't have enough room to sew it nicely. You wanna sew it nicely and then you wanna end up with a little bit of a seam allowance. So right here, it's my seam allowance, and if I measure my piece, I need a measuring. I'm gonna measure my piece, and it's about four inches. Could be four and a half inches. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my skirt and fold that hem up and pin it at that same length all the way around. We want it to be even. Once you've done that, <clears throat> you're gonna grab your scalloped pattern piece. And there is this little lip at your pattern piece. And that little lip is gonna go on your side. You're gonna start from your left side where your buttons are gonna go with your, um, yeah, your button side. We're gonna place our um, scallop piece right at that where the hem is like so, and we're gonna trace out the scallops. So we're gonna start, and you can use a water-soluble pen marker. Oh, here it is, I couldn't find it, and it's right in front of my face, I always do that. Or uh, mar uh, Taylor's chalk, or whatever you wanna use to mark these scallops. Just make sure that you keep them even at the edge. You should finish with that last scallop at the edge, right at the edge. So now we're going to go over to our sewing machine and with a straight stitch, sew around the whole scallop. When you get to like the turning point, you're just gonna lift up your uh, foot, leave the needle down, lift up your foot and pivot around and go all the way around. Let's go sew that. 
when I get to that point, we lift up your foot and we're pivoting it around to go around that other scallop. When we get to this corner, we're just gonna go straight out. All right, we're basically done with our scalloped hem. Now comes the scary part, which is to cut it all out. So we're gonna start cutting the around and leaving just a little seam allowance. But when you come to the corners, and be really careful when you're cutting because you don't wanna cut the thread. When you come right here to the corners, you wanna snip as close to that corner as you can without actually clipping the thread because you want to uh, have less bulk, but you still want your, you know, you want it to be sewn together. So you're gonna go up to that V as close as possible and then go the other way. I'm gonna cut around all of them. We're almost done. All right, now we start turning our scallops. Now, as we turn the scallops, we wanna use like an orange stick or some tool like that to uh, make sure you kind of pull them out so they look nice and uh, rounded and not like all this combobulated. Now, if you have like a little bit of a pucker right here, that just means that you need to go in and trim a little bit closer to your thread. Um, so that means you didn't clip enough. And I need to go in from the wrong side because my thread is black and my fabric is black and I'm afraid I'm going to cut too much. And so that's why I had a little bit of, I was a little bit timid. But you can always just come back and trim and I might have to do that to all of them. See how much better it looks now that I trimmed it? And do that and then steam them down. All right, friends, that is all there is to a scalloped hem. All we gotta do now is put in a stitch right here at the edge, which is the same stitch that you're gonna stitch along the edge of your placket, on the outer side of your placket, so you can just stitch that down. I probably would go back and forth right here and then back and forth right here just to secure that. Now, if you want an invisible stitch, because we're gonna have to go down this whole thing to secure the scallops down, you can do a hand stitch, invisible stitch. Uh, you can, I would probably even just, if you want to just stitch them to the, to the hemline, or I have this steam a seam, and I might just use that. But if you, if you don't mind a stitch going along, you might wanna stitch it down so it's nice and tackered down. It's up to you really what you wanna do with it. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the steam a seam. I, I love it, it works great. All I do is, it's like tape, double-sided tape. You unstick, and unstick it, unstick it, and you place it right in the fabric between the two layers. You press it on for a temporary hold, but you steam it on for a permanent. So that might be what I just do, see, instead of stitching it on. Again, you could put a stitch there, you could um, use uh, hand stitching and just like stitch it together, an um, invisible stitch. It is up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this skirt up because I wanna show you all, I am super excited about it. I am so excited about it. Are you excited about it? Let me know below what you thought about, what you think about the scalloped hem. Tell me, did it look as hard as you thought it was gonna be? I know sometimes things look so difficult and we think there's no way I can accomplish that. Yes, you can. If I can do it, you can do it. You can surely do it. I am no expert at this. But if you have any questions, please come find us on Facebook and Instagram. We have tons of sewists who are so helpful, so kind. We have a loving Facebook community. So come over there and come share with us your questions, your concerns, and your makes, because we want to see them. 
Uh, I want you to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't because I don't want you to miss any of our sewing tutorials that we've got going on. We've got sewing tutorials and sewing tips and tricks coming along your way every almost every day of the week so you don't want to miss out so go ahead and subscribe hit that subscribe button and i'm gonna go finish this up and i'll probably say all that again when i come out and try it on are you seeing this this is ridiculously cute i love it i love that scalloped hem can you believe it this was a tablecloth from walmart and i created this beautiful skirt out of it i love it i love um, even just the feel of the fabric, it's just, it's nice and sturdy and everything like that. And I just love the scalloped hem. I think it gives it such a cute little detail. I'm going to show you different ways I style this skirt. Um, this top I'm wearing right now is in a waffle knit. This is a, um, combination of like three patterns, the fallen, no, no, no. The fireside with the bigger sleeves and the, um, cowl from the going home raglan. Um, super cute. I love it. And I'm going to show you some other ways. All right. Now for my friends who live up north and they are cold right now, um, you could also layer it with some urban leggings. I've worn urban leggings underneath it. Um, this is a Discover tee, just a solid Discover tee. I added a scarf and a Chapman cardigan, one of my favorite Chapman cardigans. Um, and this kind of warms the whole outfit up. But if you didn't want to do that, you can just, you know, wear your tee. Uh, tucked in top and it just by itself and I think it also looks super cute and it would look cute with some flats or with some um, uh, Converse too. I kind of funk it up a little bit, but it is adorable. I love it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment like share subscribe if you haven't let me know below um, if you're going to try the scallops or which which version of this skirt is your favorite straight hem scalloped hem midi mini knee length what is your favorite um i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all next time bye